Uh, next up in cool stuff is a Cosmo Streamer a DIY box. This is for a streaming DJI. So we've talked a little bit in the past about how um, basically, you know, you can buy stuff like the Axis HD box you've reviewed, or you can mm -hmm. build your other solutions and stuff for streaming HD out of your DJI goggles. Um, so this is another solution, which is actually uh, pretty simple to do, um, which I thought we would uh, we would check out here. Um, so okay. basically, Cosmo Streamer is another app out of the FPV Out group, uh, the same Magic Bytes thing that was found by Junus. Uh, and we've got uh, yeah a little solution here. So all you really need is a Raspberry Pi 4B if you want two outputs, because it's got two micro HDMIs. No, oh, nice. Um, and then this is a little firmware package, and you can put it all on an SD card. Um, and from the reports that I've heard, uh, the person who sent it over said they got great latency, had very little issues, um, and they were getting two HDMI out, so the little Raspberry Pi 4B. So I looked now, at those up before it, and they were like, I think they were like 50 bucks. Um, so that's not too bad. Now, help me understand, though, Blunty. So we're, we're getting image out of the DJI goggles, but it's not just USB into a, a, a laptop. It's going into this box. What is the box doing? It's Raspberry Pi 4B, so it's literally just, it's using a uh, no, no, uh, like, program. What's what's happening to the video once it goes into the box? I'm a little unclear. I wish, uh, there was a diagram on this page, I can't find the diagram. Uh, so it's just running through um, the Cosmos Streamer app, and then it's splitting it out into HDMI. I think there's also some control options for it. Um, so is Streamer, it just, a, is it just an HDMI output conversion? Yes. USB to HDMI? Yeah, essentially it's splitting, uh, yeah, but into two HDMIs um, if you want them. But yes, it is basically just splitting it into HDMI, formatting the video for you properly, making sure it mm -hmm. goes out, it's low latency, all that kind of jazz. So. Now, what's what's the stuff about Wi-Fi? Can I Wi-Fi into the Raspberry Pi and, like, see the image over the network? Uh, yeah, so there is uh, the Cosmos Streamer app is what you're connecting to. Mm -hmm. um, and the Cosmo Streamer app is in there, so you can configure settings for the Cosmo Streamer app. I um, see. Cosmo Streamer is for like all kinds of DJI um, and other products too. So. Oh, I see. So this is an interface to get the DJI FPV goggles into Cosmo Streamer. Is that right? Yeah, it's for the there's like a specific Cosmo Streamer app that runs on the Raspberry Pi, and that's what mm -hmm. communicates the video over HDMI, so you can get it low latency to other places instead of using something like the Axis HD box that runs its mm -hmm. own software or Digiview or whatever uh, in it, you know, on an app. Okay, I hate to be obtuse. I hate to keep yeah. being obtuse, but like, why would I yeah. pick Cosmo Streamer instead of using the FPV Out app on my cell phone? Because you want some low latency solution that's in a little box, like the same reason you would buy an Axis HD box. Axis flying right? box, I see. Yeah, the, the Axis flying box. Because you want so, a box that you plug something into, you plug the goggles into, you plug I two see. HDMIs into, and you have two videos out live for you right away. And this is going to be a lot uh, cheaper, I, re I reckon, than the Axis flying yeah. box. Yeah, 50 So this would be an alternative. 4B right now. And a case. Yeah. Maybe 3D printed case, probably. So this is going to give you USB to HDMI out in a nice self-contained box for 50-ish bucks. Or if you've already got a Raspberry Pi sitting around, you know, you just use that. Uh, yeah. Carbon Cage wants to know, can you add Cosmo Streamer to OBS over the internet? That's what I was wondering. When I first heard about this, I thought it had something to do with internet streaming. Like it's going to stream the video over Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I don't know why uh, I thought yeah, I'm that. Not, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it, yeah, it may, but I'm not familiar with that. I, th I thought it could do that. Well, uh, yeah. I'm going to feel bad if we get it wrong. So I'm going to just real quick search my email. I got an email from the dev and he told me some things about it, which I will now try to get, get right. Can I find this email? Cosmo Streamer. DIY Cosmo Streamer box. Um, it streams video signals out from the DJI goggles and from DJI FPV with very low latency. Output images from the Type C port to two monitors with HDMI with no lag. So normally that it has like 100 milliseconds of lag for the HDMI USB out. Yeah. He's saying it's I'm very sure. low lag. Yeah, I'm sure it's still not. I would, yeah. The lowest latency I've seen, I think it's 60 MS or mm -hmm. 65 MS or something. So I wouldn't ah. expect it's flyable. But. Here, here we go. I'm not crazy. He says, you can output images from the USB Type-C port 
over a LAN cable to an internet browser or to the Cosmo Viewer NG application. So that's that's what I thought the killer feature of this is, although I see that it's also just a USB to HDMI box, that it yeah. can it can broadcast those images. You can even live them, do live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So if you can get it into a browser, you could get it into OBS via a browser import. Um, sure. Sander, Sander in the chat says it does include OBS RTMP streaming as well. Yeah, those are the those are the killer killer features there. No, that's sorry, Sandra is saying it's he's built his own Raspberry Pi box with FPV out. Never mind. That's that's not the that's not this one. What's the exact latency? Can I use it to fly with a monitor? N3 frame, the latency of the DJI smart controller, the the actual DJI smart controller is about uh 100 milliseconds. So I doubt this is going to be much less than that. It's not flyable. So Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, Cosmo Streamer, your Raspberry Pi based USB to HDMI out for DJI FPV. 